Hello and welcome to the God is a Geek podcast. My name's Adam Cook. This is episode 418, 418. And if you're watching in the video version, which is available on YouTube, get the plug out of the way early on, you can see that it is just me this week with Christopher Hyde, sort of over there. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm good, mate. We are... This is... this is For the, for the video viewers, this is what you call podcasting on a budget in that there's just two of us <laughs> your computer is not ready to be used right now so we're using your phone so this is right behind the scenes i'm sat here just i'm comfy as normal here's my nice shiny microphone and there you are literally there on a phone probably out of sync at some point but then that's why you listen that you listen the podcast is an audio thing isn't it chris it is it is it is for this week so yeah we're making it yes. work for the fans we're making it work <laughs> uh it'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fun but we've got to get a podcast out because there's just so much happening and this this time last week i couldn't talk about a game that i'm going to talk about this week we've got two games to talk about this week two bits of news and lots of listener correspondence and this time next week hopefully we'll be able to talk about more games um hopefully we can get chris white on soon so we can talk about assassin's creed valhalla but for now yes. chris i've been playing a huge game in my opinion but we're going to pause that one to talk about the biggest game of the year. Now, that's not Cyberpunk 2077. Might be to us, might be to you, the viewer, listener, reader, watcher. I thought trying to think of another adjective then, but I <laughs> ran out. Um, FIFA 21. Now, I'm sorry for those listening who hate sport, but me and Chris don't, or Chris and I don't hate sport. Um, so for, for myself, I don't know about you, Chris, but f- I really look forward to the yearly FIFA. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we we did we kind of showed off the the boxes last week. That was kind of the kind of the the preview, if you like, to what was coming. Um, yeah. we're, we're kind of just about to start playing. Um, and yeah, FIFA twenty one is FIFA twenty. Um, to put it to put it politely, I mean that's yeah. not a terrible thing in, in one sense, especially when no. you think about what what Pez is doing. Pez esports football. Whatever, whatever, um, yeah, whatever, whatever that is. This year. Um, yeah. yeah, but you know, when you think that that is literally just new, uh, new team updates, um, mm. you know, the, the FIFA, it, it doesn't feel that wrong that that's what's happened in FIFA, but to obviously make you try and think that it's mm. more than that, it is. And there are there are some changes, and we'll, you know, we'll get them out of the way, and we'll talk about some of the interesting well, decisions well, in a well, minute. I wanted I think, to ask but... you a question before we get into sort of what's new, what we've done, because I think yes. this question is incredibly telling. And even if you don't like football, it, it, or FIFA, or pairs, or any sports games, it's still a very telling question. So, when I normally get FIFA, usually it's early and it's for review, and I'm just like obsessing, I'm like just playing hour, tens and twenties, thirties hours. I just cannot stop playing it. Which I would expect would be the same for you. Is it this time? So, yes and no. So I, 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 I know that I play FIFA very differently to you throughout the year. I think so. So, yeah, um, yeah. I play um, the pro clubs aspect of it with some of my friends. Most of the year in, in dribs and drabs, if I'm honest with you, we, we kind of do it, you know, um, not not every night, but, you know, we do, we'll get up and try and see how far we can get. So I'm playing mm. FIFA, I've been playing FIFA 20, you know, for, for you know quite a while in, in the last year. So that has kind of transitioned to, to FIFA 21. But the, I think the to answer your question properly, have I really gone into some of the other modes that I normally would at the start of FIFA? Mm. The start of FIFA. So when I started FIFA 20, go balls deep for ultimate right. team well done. um you know squad battles that kind of stuff look at the other the other aspects and you know the career modes and stuff like that that i've done a lot less of in mm. fifa 21 i've kind of dabbled a little bit and then just kind of already i find myself right now i mean it's only, <laughs> i've only had it sort of a, a week but i find myself going this might just be pro clubs for me and, and that's yeah. it and i think that's kind of how i feel about it because i feel like i've done the bits that were new in in fifa 20 and now fifa 21 is just a continuation of of pro clubs for me and that that probably is very black and white i probably will play a little bit of it but yeah i completely get where you're coming from in the sense that it doesn't feel as new and exciting as it normally does around this sort of time of year you get a new yes. fifa it's it, it, I did feel that. I'll be honest. Like yeah, that, yeah, um, to start that with. day when it arrived and I showed it off, showed the case off. Everywhere, I was like, I'm really looking forward to playing this. Like, I'm really. I did still have that feeling. Yeah, but it kind of went quite quickly. Very, so, so um, what I do, I always 
find that whatever difficulty you play FIFA on, when you get the new FIFA, you have to kind of roll it back one level uh, yeah. because they've changed, always changed enough. They've changed just enough, if you know what I mean, to make you have to kind yeah. of not relearn it, but uh, just, yeah, they've changed just enough. Um, so I did that. My first match, rolled it back a level, one nine nil, And that's yeah. the moment I knew, okay, they've not changed much. What it felt like to me, or feels like to me, is that they have basically turned the sliders up to make the game overall play quicker. But I don't feel like an awful lot aside that as much has changed. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like the game quite is very disappointed. Quick. Yeah, the game the game definitely feels quicker. Yep. I feel like if I was to think about other things that are different, I, the, the the crossing feels a little bit different. Mm, like, yeah. I think I think we we spoke about this. You know, FIFA twenty. It's you, well, unless I'm just rubbish at it. It's hard to score crosses and headers. Whereas in FIFA twenty, like, yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's, FIFA twenty one. It it feels it feels different and easier to, to, to finish from, from crosses, but I'm, I'm nitpicking and I'm thinking that's a key defining change between the two games. Mm. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that we, we, we probably do need to mention um, is the rewind. Yeah. Picture. Yeah. Um, it's so, a, it's we, an interesting we should one explain thing. what yeah. that is. Yeah. So basically they, I mean, it must be a while ago now. They started adding to racing games the ability that if you smash into a the barrier at a hairpin and you realise you've just ra- ruined a ten lap race on your ninth lap, you could hit a button, rewind it, and take that that corner again or, or whatever. Um, that's now in FIFA, and and I was a bit shocked when it popped up on screen. What is it? Left trigger, right trigger, and I think I think start or, or whatever the buttons are now. Back, it's not back and start anymore, but whatever the, the equivalent was. And then it said for replay mode, and I thought, what? That never normally wants me to go into replay mode, and I did that, and then I realised what it was. And I don't want to be that kind of guy because it feels a little bit like the sort of Dark Souls gatekeeping of of you know, oh, it shouldn't be an easy mode, and I don't think that. I think that if there's 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 there should be accessibility. This mm. feels and. <laughs> It feels anti-football to me, like because yeah, I, I, in I a get sports it. Sports game, I just, you know. Yeah, because I, I, I've been thinking a lot about this. Because you're right, though. I, I imagine the reason it's been put in there is for accessibility purposes. But in a in a in a football title that already uh, do, has do you really very... think so? accessibility, well, really, because I, just, I mean there are difficulty levels in this game. If you are struggling, you could just also there are. Do you know what they? I know they've changed the system, but you know the FUT, no, not FUT, like the FIFA catalog. You can buy mm. things in that during career mode to be like um, rematch if you did cock up. Yeah. So I, I don't. It's it's well, not, not it's not the I'm idea not, not that bothers me. That it, I think I think the intention of including it was for accessibility. When you step you, back you and really say, you genuinely it's, believe it's, that? I think I think that was what people were going for. Whether they think they needed okay. it, I I don't think I, I agree with you completely. I don't think they needed to. A game that has difficulty settings and other things that help you on the way. But I don't also, think it needs it. But also, man, like this is a game that let's let's face it. Yes, there's a career mode, but this this rewind functionality is not going to be available online. I haven't checked, but it just can't be. Um, no, I mean, the, no. the the idea of that having to sync up on a server is just it's not going to happen. Um, it's not going to be available in FUT because that's that's server side rather than cl- this must be client side only modes yes. t- t- to the point where it's like then why did you bother because someone I never saw anyone asking for this they've implemented a new feature that will have cost a development time and I'm just baffled as to someone put their hand up in a board meeting and went what about this gov and they went oh yeah. that's it's it to me it feels like no it is a new game look there's this new feature it's like yeah but it's yeah. total wank I, I agree. I think, you know, when, when I think about other other kind of genres, you know, it's in uh, the one that came to my mind, probably because it's Nintendo, but is, um, is it Super Mario Strikers. Wii U? No, oh, the, right. no the, 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 literally the platform where you can literally go, I've just gone down a pit, I'm going to re- rewind a bit to give myself to try and play that little bit again. Mm. I kind of get why it's in that sort of game because you're like, right, well, the challenge is laid out in front of you. There's ways in which you can overcome those challenges and you need to keep practicing that specific section. That makes sense. I don't, I, the, for me, the same doesn't apply, I don't think, no. in a, in a well, they're, dynamic. But, mate, they have that. Mode. They have that in the training modes. Exactly. And I feel like, you, exactly. And I feel like this is why this mode is unnecessary is because you have, mm. you have training modes, you have difficulty settings, you have plenty of opportunities to 
you know, learn the game, build your skill level. Like you say, it's not like it's a crushingly hard game like like a like a darks or something. Just well, it's not good. it's not a fighting not that game course. that you've been thrown in and there's only ranked mode online and that's all you can do. It like there are learning yeah. opportunities in FIFA 21. Yeah. And I just, I'm really glad. See, I play Pro Clubs. I'm so glad they can't rewind in Pro Clubs because you can imagine it would just happen all the time. It'd be like. Well, I mean, they used to be like that anyway with people using the old lag switches. And Mm. I mean, I guess it's probably not that bad now. Like, um, I I, I don't want to, like, you know, I don't like to start the podcast on like a negative, but I am tremendously disappointed with this game. Um, Yeah. to, To the point where I've put, I've basically shelved it going. I'm going to wait to see. I mean, I don't think the smart delivery next gen version is going to change a thing. All it will do is look shinier. It's the same. You know, I've seen people say that. Oh, maybe you know, maybe the the proper next gen version that they're waiting for for the Xbox Series X. Like, yeah, but but next year that is this the version of the game now is the version of the game. They will patch it because they they do update games. But the 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 if you the game you're playing right now, putting that disc in a Series X will be the same game, but perhaps shinier um maybe 4k 60 if if it isn't now i I don't actually know um yeah i'm it's not like it's a bad game but no no and i I think call of duty is going to suffer for a little bit of this this year where call of duty modern warfare and fifa 20 were both games i kind of like with fifa 20 i i was still playing a career mode um until a week a week and a half before FIFA 21 came up and that was because at the time i assumed review code was imminent because it normally would be and Mm. Um, that's the only reason I stopped, and 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 genuinely, I I'm one of these that I, outside of 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 you know God is a geek or or any game stuff full stop. I I am into football. Also, I I coach football. Um, I believe that I do sort of notice things in 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 these games that change. I am really struggling to feel like there's enough of a change here. I feel like. They should have done what Pez did. Like they mm. should have just called it like FIFA Twenty One roster update or something. And and because I mean there are other modes. You know, there's the 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 Volta stuff, which I have to be honest. Out now, I'm not reviewing it. it. It just doesn't interest me. I mean, sorry, that sounds like I'm being honest because I'm not reviewing it. I mean, now I'm not reviewing it. I can say that Volta doesn't interest me, and I'm just not even going to play it. I have no mm. in. Like, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the thing people wanted was FIFA Street as Volta, and it's not that. And I'm I'm just not interested in the Volta side of things. It's I'm I'm not being funny. I'm too old for that kind of hip, you know, shit where they're like trying to be cool and stuff. And the story, we're not cool enough, mate. That's maybe, the thing. We're maybe, not cool but like <laughs> Ultimate Team is Ultimate Team. Um, yeah. Career mode is is slightly changed. It's career mode. Again, not a bad game, but very. Yeah. Mu- I, I'll be honest. In in my heart of hearts, what I was expecting because I assumed they would. This is like pairs. This would be a gap year. Because the big changes will come next year, um, yeah. you know when they cut to a crowd, for example, in FIFA Twenty One, it still looks crap. It does, mm. and not to not to praise NBA Two K. No, I was just about to mention that in in, in terms of what's possible small, and what smaller they're doing. crowds, maybe. Yeah, but, but man, do you know what? FIFA is the leading thing in that genre. It is the leading game, right? Why, why are things? Why is it so difficult to pass a goal kick out in your own box? That's been a rule for two years now, two seasons now. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. What? Why? Why is it still the offsides from last season? Now, I I understand that, like like you and I, neither of us like the new offside rule where the flag stays down until the play's played out. I understand why it's in place. It's because of VAR. Also, where's VAR? Like these are things that if you're the leading player in a field, you have to you have to do. You have to push yeah. those things, and they're not. They're not because they don't have to. So the the, the worry I've got now is what that the EA, not specifically EA, but the game FIFA, will go back to the bad old days where it was just a roster update because they could do what they wanted. And and I feel like Pez is a good game of football now, um, but I feel like they Ooh. need some competition. It is it is it is bad that FIFA trounces Pez because FIFA doesn't have to do stuff now like it doesn't have to... like again i feel like the back to the offside rule i feel like the offside rule that is it is now while i don't like it in real football in a game it could actually be pretty fun because the flag stays down all the way to the thing you think you've scored and then the flag it's drama and and yeah, and, yeah. and fifa yeah. as a game has become sky sports football fifa and that drama works you know i'd i'd like to see 
I, I hesitate to say I want them to because they are full. I think it's a very arcade game now. I don't want them to put handballs in because that's a that's a random thing you can't control. Um, and I get why, but the, the other stuff, it, it feels like it should be there. Um, and, yeah. and it should be surfaced in a way that it's almost like, look, we're up to date. Look at the cool new stuff from this season that we're right up to date with. And it doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree. Obviously, we've, 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 we've been obviously messaging whilst we've been playing mm. um, in this in this last week, and I think we're we're on the same page with this completely. I, I feel like there's there's some. It just it just feels. I will say I will say rush because I don't think it is rush. I just think it's like you said they don't have to try, and I think it feels like um, that. It feels like they yeah. know it. They know damn well, you know that they 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 don't have to, and that's again yeah. bad. That's bad. Not I yeah. don't mean they're bad. I mean it's a bad thing. That is a bad thing. Yeah. You, you, whenever you have competition, you, you know you, you get better end product, don't you? And mm. with just a squad update for for Pez, it was always going to be well. We don't yeah. have to try to be. Mm. We're already better by a lot of people's you know a lot of people prefer P- fifa to pairs and if yeah. all pairs are doing it just a squad update then we're already better so we don't need to push the bar so but like I mean, if, right, like... if if ea are going to do this now if this is what they're going to do with fifa a game and a series i love i'd rather they just went free to play and 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 did that and, and went the kind of not battle pass thing but just they did try it many years ago with um i forget what it was called i think it was like fifa world or something it was pc only and it was just ultimate team and the graphics weren't up to date but I'd I'd almost rather they just did that and it was just FIFA and they just updated it like like a Fortnite like a live service but they won't do that because yeah. the game still sells gangbusters but mm-hmm. um who knows um we should talk about Yakuza we really should <laughs> um I don't want to like talk for ages about it because like it's it's in a preview sense and yeah um it's one of those where I kind of went in knowing. I mean, I knew I was going to like it because I played the Japanese demo ages ago. I think I put a video of me up playing it. I think maybe it may have been Patreon only. I can't remember now. It's a while ago. But Yakuza Like a Dragon, I played on PC. Um, Basically, it's a chapter of the game, chapter five. Uh, I purposely didn't, even the sort of the PR sort of went, you know, go and have a look at the the website, blah, 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 see the synopsis. Like, I kind of don't want to um, because I'm not, I wasn't going to, I was never going to write about the story because that's, that's you know not what I was writing the preview for. I was more a case of like it's finally here. I will say fantastic voice work, um, Japanese yeah. and English. Like the the, the lip syncing is terrific. If you, if you've seen the preview video, you'll know that you can see it. Um, this game feels like it was made for me, properly yeah. made for me. Like it is it is a yakuza game with all the the charm and and the humor and the heart of the yakuza series, but they threw. Final Fantasy VII's combat on top, and then added a job system, and the job system's amazing. It is it's like a narrative cover for it, but you you basically go to a Japanese job center and you say like I want um like I want this character to be a chef, I want this character to be a bodyguard, I want this character to be an idol, I want this character to be um a hippie guitarist, and that changes their move set and their outfits in battle, and you level up the job system while leveling up the main uh, their main level, and it's funny. It's charming, like I say. It's just got so much heart to it. Like it seems to be the stories about some, the, the group are kind of all down and outs. Like they've all they're all down on their luck. They've been betrayed. It seems that it it just like what what I would say is I think most people who are probably thinking about this game are probably thinking, oh, Xbox Series X. Um, I didn't play that version. I know people have. What I would say is that I played it on PC, like on all maxed out. Um, don't expect it to be a next gen game right because it isn't it is a year old game it's maybe more than a year old in japan like this is a ps4 game yeah that's obviously being upscaled and and upresed for like new new gen systems and pc but don't expect i mean there may be the, the there may be ray tracing i don't know there may be the hdr on the xbox one sorry xbox series x um maybe every week mate <laughs> yeah i know i know but maybe that makes it look amazing the hdr I don't have a HDR set up on my PC, only on the TV behind me on the um for the Xbox and for the PS4. Five, four, four, PS4. That I haven't got a PS5. Don't don't go thinking I have, I haven't. That was a, I'm there's a lot of console names in my head at the moment, planning and stuff. Um so don't don't go expect it. And I would say this of most of the crop of Series X games. And maybe the PS5, you know, don't go expecting this. I th- I feel like we are at a point with visuals where we are kind of at a point of diminishing returns, mm-hmm. 
And that may yeah. be why Xbox are trying to push into the 120 hertz thing, which again, I, I personally think is kind of the white whale. I don't think, I mean, I think there's like three tellies in the UK that do 120 hertz and having a 120 hertz signal is no guarantee that it will actually be 120 frames per second. It's a, it's a messy thing. If you if you don't know, you'll need a HDMI 2.1 capable telly. Um, you probably haven't got one of them. You might be lucky, and if you like, last year or so you bought one, that'll be updated. You probably haven't got one of them. The new the new LG OLED basically has like four ports, all capable. Um, yeah, don't go expecting a next gen experience. I guess if you're playing on Series X, you've got the quick resume stuff and all the. Mm. And that's cool, but this is it's just, like I say, just to get feels like a game made for me. I I really really love it. I sort of had to hold back a little bit because I knew I would be playing it from the start again and having to play all this again. But the beauty of that is that I can pick four different jobs and and mainline them before I go back to the old ones. Yeah, and, that, you, and that, have you got? A, go on. Sorry, I was going to say, have you got a sense like from what you've played, like the the amount of jobs that you've got in no, this? They, this all, they the seem to be listed. Um, unless there's right. some hidden ones, um, yeah. there's there's a good amount of them. Yeah, um, but each so there's character lots of, there's opportunities to have like to your point different parties, not just characters, I guess, but jobs within those characters. Yes, and also there's I don't need some... to reveal stuff you don't have to, but I'm just in terms no, of no, what I'm, you say, like, I'm not. I'm not no, there's nothing. There's nothing I'm aware I can't say about that system. Um, there's so each like, as you level up a job, there's like. So at level four, you'll get unlock a new passive skill. Level five, you might get an extra plus five on magic or health. And then at level six, you might unlock a new move. And all the moves are kind of varying. And and also then you've got the system where you can buy and upgrade weapons, which have like elemental effects on them. Like there's one I had that I think it was an electricity bat. I can't remember. There was a lot. There's a lot. It's it's very typical in the Yakuza games. There's a lot of everything. Um, Yeah. The job system, it does appear that most... So there are certain jobs only certain characters can have. So the build for me picked up where I was playing as a hero build, a hero class. Um, like, that's one the main character can only be. But there are, like, they can all be um, sort of bouncers. They can all be idols, but they can't all be X and Y. There are specific classes, if you like, for certain characters. I, I do think there's more characters... That join the party, and, and that's not me. Like, oh, I can't say. I don't know. I, I would assume, like, I met one character. I'm pretty sure is going to join your party at some point. He just seemed. I actually thought he was going to when I was playing, and he didn't. So, um, I will say the pound mate system is amazing, and that's a that's a terrible you know, pound mate sounds, um, dodgy to say the <laughs> least. Friendly. Yeah. Depending on the depending on the type of pounding, I suppose. But anyway, carry on. Pound mates is basically Final Fantasy VII summon system. So yeah, you, okay, right. you through through missions, and I mentioned I won't repeat the story, but the mission I did in the side story that got me a new pound mate. Um, that that was so funny. I know you're not going to repeat it, but no, that no. looks batshit, and it just perfect, perfect, just what I need in my in my life right now. Well, that that pound mate system is basically you spend your cash and you can summon. Like the first time seems to be free. Um, it's just, and this is the thing. Like, it, oh, so oh, so you pay each time you summon. Yes, yeah. Like, I think it was okay. ten thousand yen. Right. I don't know if they're all that, but the ones I had were. Yeah. Um, okay. And they come along, and some of them will just do like massive damage. Some of them will inflict like horrendous status effects or or, or buffs or debuffs. Like, there's, there's there's a chicken that you can. Su- there's lots of. <laughs> it's Yakuza. Of course there is. Um, of course there is. It's yeah. Yakuza. There's there's lots there's lots to this game. Um, I. I can't actually say because I don't know, but I reckon it could be the longest or biggest one. Like there is so there's like a, there's like a whole Mario Kart thing in here. There's a whole sort of yeah, yeah. there's a whole like a business management thing in here. Um, that's yeah, where the, chick- like the chicken comes stuff, in. Isn't there? Yeah, stuff yeah. like that and yeah, and, I mean, um, yeah various it, things. It just obviously. seems yeah. enormous. Um, yeah. In I kind of don't want to review it if you know what I mean. I kind of want to just play it. Play it. And, yeah, and yeah, not, not feel like yeah. I've got to get through it, which is not always the way. And like, but normally, to be honest with you, we'd have this game by now. And and as it goes, I, I think the build I had, I could have started from the beginning, but was told not to. And I'm a rule follower. Um, but that build's basically gone now. Like they, on Steam, you can set an expiry date, and that that I literally couldn't yeah. play it now if I wanted to. So mm-hmm. I kind of really want to now. But I also do. I was a bit disappointed to read that it doesn't. It's not 4K 60 on the Series X, because I feel yeah, like it should be capable yeah, of doing that. 60, 1440, isn't it? And 
four K thirty or something. That, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, I yeah. feel like it. I don't. I'm, I will say this much. I don't believe that's an Xbox issue. I think that's a developer that they've, they've locked. I really think it could do four K sixty. If I still had the build, I could actually test because I've now got a four K monitor. Um, for reasons and. I really think even with my 2060 in, in this PC, it would have probably done 4K 60 on that game. It 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 like the facial animations are better. It is genuinely a lovely looking game. I really think the facial. I, do you know what? I'm really excited to play as someone who's not Kiryu, and I love him, and I love mm. like Majima, and I love all the Yakuza games. But yeah. there's just something about like, this guy's from essentially Yakuza Online, like the mobile game that only came to Japan. So I don't know anything about that really. Um, he seems really cool. Like, a, like he's got great hairstyle. He's, he's got he's funny. Um, he see like there's less baggage. Like there's no history as such. It's just kind of so. That's the other thing I'd say is if people are like, yeah, but this is Yakuza Seven. I think there's a very good reason in the West they've dropped the Seven mm. because this feels like a not a reboot because it's set after all of that. Um, but it feels like a fresh start. Yeah, and I, and I think this yeah. game's going to do very very well. I think it should. Like I say, it feels really good. Uh, I'm getting, it, feels, you know. it feels like since since I guess six between the launch of six and now, mm. I think the popularity of of Yakuza has just gone from strength to strength with all the yes. Kiwami releases and everything. I think it's like a perfect time now to release a Yakuza game in the West and for it to just do yes. amazingly well. And for people, because I'll be honest, I I discovered it. I discovered the series with six. You know, yes. I, I, I think I wrote for it on the site for that, and it. I, I, so I'm all in for this so i'm one of those people and i think there's a lot of people like me that you know a few years ago had heard of it but didn't really play it and now mm. we're all in for this so uh, yeah i think it's it could do really well and it deserves to i think so but, well i hope I mean, so from what i've seen i think yes. it deserves to. i mean there was definitely a period where i felt like as a fan they were saturating it a little bit but i feel like because this is so different um mm. It is properly turn-based, like, you know, you act out your actions on the screen and the sort of up here, it will show, like, you know, who's next and who, on, you've got your party on the bottom and it will say next if they're next. You know, you can you can plan. The only complaint I'd have so far is it felt very easy, but then I don't know the save mm -hmm. file provided for the preview build was like, have they over-leveled you to make you feel... You don't know, you know, it's not your natural yeah. save file. You can definitely power level like enemies aren't it's not random encounters but enemies appear and you can avoid them or go and fight them it's like they're on the map um yeah you can definitely over level i did over level like because i wanted to try out the jobs so i was kind of just going around looking for fights um, i didn't really want to push the story on because i i again i don't want to play a chapter of a story-based game i wanted to fill that fill the, the systems out um I, I think this is going to be very high on my personal list but I'm basing it on a chapter of what will probably be at least 13 to 14 chapters of a game. I mean, like, it's not embargo breaking. I could go and look that up. The game's out in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Like I say, pretty sure they've dropped the 7 and that's a smart thing because, you yeah. know, when you see something like Final Fantasy 16, you're like, 16, Jesus. So dropping the 7 and going... Because it's not even the 7th. You had Yakuza Dead Souls, which is like a spin-off zombie sort of thing. So there are more than 7 Yakuza games. Um... Because you've got Yakuza Zero as well, of course. Zero as well, yeah. yeah it's so like, like you know, evil, this, this is actually the eighth, ninth if yeah. you count Dead, Dead, which you can't because it's not canon. I don't think it's, well, it's not canon because there's zombies in it. Um, yeah, very much looking forward to hopefully playing the full game, hopefully very soon and hopefully on Series X. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to just, well, it will be soon. We're less than a month away from that console launching. Just so, In fact, we're less than a month away from them both being out. Yeah, I can't wait. Wow. Speaking of next-gen consoles, let's do some news. We've got a lot of games we can't talk about this week, and as people who are playing games they can't talk about, um, I'd like to talk about that Mario Kart Live next week, so I haven't had a chance to get stuck into that. But um, just to stick with next-gen stuff, so Xbox Series X, they've announced the 30 optimised games on day one that look and play best on Series X and Series S. I don't think I need to read the full list of them, um, and then you've got games like the Medium launching on the December the 10th and Cyberpunk on the 19th. Um, they all, t you know, they both take advantage of smart delivery. I'm sorry if I'm looking off screen. I'm literally reading the the Microsoft uh, Xbox.com news blog. Um, smart delivery games, you know, there basically means you can just pop the disc in or download the game that you've already owned, and it will seamlessly upgrade you to the 
modern gen version, new gen, next gen, optimized gen version. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which we've previewed recently, Chris. Not, but you're not the Chris that previewed it. Sadly, not. No, mm. it looks amazing. But yeah, we'll seven wait hours for though, White. Chris played. Yeah, yeah, but it looks glorious. I'll, I'll let him pick up that yeah. another time, but it looks yeah. glorious. But I mean, from Ubisoft, obviously, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs, which I have played, uh, not on Series mm-hmm. X, on PC. Um, very interested to see how that will look with the with the sort of... i just check on the list, so I think it is smart delivery. It is. I'm very interested to see how that runs, because the preview build I played was locked at 1080.30. Or was it 60? I can't remember. But I know that like the ray tracing stuff, the HDR obviously wasn't on because it was played remotely. So I'm very interested to see how... Because I thought that game looked good, but not amazing. But then, as I say, they have to pair things back because you're playing remotely and you're not getting that same effect. Um, Borderlands 3, uh, Bright mm-hmm. Memory, which I, f- I forgot was coming up. People seem to keep going, oh, I'm so surprised that game's there. But there, it, it, it's already out, but the single player isn't. Um, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition is coming. We We know that. Dirt Five, mm-hmm. which is an interesting one because I think that game looks great, but every th- one time, every time anyone mentions it, they seem to think it doesn't look very good. So, yeah, it feels like I don't know. It feels like one of those games that not a lot of people are talking about wanting to play on launch. I, but it doesn't I look as good as a next gen racing yeah. game normally looks. Yeah, but, but it's not a next gen yeah. racing game. You yeah. know that game is available on Xbox One yeah. and PS4. So yeah, it's just launching around the time, isn't it? That's the yeah, yeah. Uh, the Falconer, uh, Fortnite, of course, Forza yeah. Horizon Four, which I have heard many people say who have been in the preview program of Series X doesn't work on Series X at the moment. So that's you know that's Game Pass. Oh, really? Uh, let's just get into the Game Pass, and these are all Game Pass on smart delivery. Forza Horizon Four, Gears Five, which I am going to play through again. I'm going to make a concerted effort, to, concerted effort to play I was, Gears Five again on a hard difficulty. It's really interesting you say that. I was, I was, I was literally thinking, do I play that through again? And I've not, I've played it quite recently. Co-op Obviously, run, you it, and I, um, you and I, done deal. Co-op run. There, there we go. There we go. There we yep. go. Um, Gears Tactics, which I started on PC, and so, so my relationship with games on PC is that I, unless I have to play them for review for the coverage. Um, I tend to end up getting distracted by work. And that's an awful thing, but I get distracted by work. Um, so Gears Tactics on Xbox Series X means I can't be distracted by work, so I'll be sat on a sofa playing a game. Uh, Grounded, which is in preview program. Uh, what else have we got? Game Pass. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Uh, sea of Thieves. Tetris Effect Connected, I didn't know was Game Pass, but it is. Um, the Tourist, with a Y. That's it for Game Pass, I think. Uh, Man Eater, Manifold Garden, NBA 2K21, uh, ba, 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 what have we said, Watch Dogs, Warhammer, Chaos, Bane, Slayer Edition, Yakuza Like a Dragon, and Yes, You're Great. So, there are... no, we haven't got a Halo, but there are definitely games to play that are going to look better on Series X. Mm-hmm. Bre- breaking news. Um, PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation 5, they finally broke cover and showed the UI. And I'm not sure the stuff they showed was for people who play games the way we do. The UI looked very slick, like 4K optimized. Look, and that's another thing that people are going, oh, the Xbox One isn't optimized for 4K. It's like, well, it might be by launch. We'll see. Also, you play games on a console, and that's something I think the Xbox are really digging into this gen. Coming, you know, they're really going for the games, games, games. By the way, the acquisitions. Um, yeah, a couple of things that stood out from the PS5 UI thing. You can essentially via PlayStation Plus now load up a challenge, which they're called cards, and they are basic. I think they're trophies. They're just linked to trophies, and you can, if you, it will tell you how long roughly it will take you to get that. So if one of the trophies was like. It's basically complete a level or I'll find the things on the level and complete it. And it's like, this should take you about 10 minutes. That's a cool little feature, I think. Mm. Um, you can also... Yeah, 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 I mean, knowing... I, yeah, I was just going to say, like, I think knowing how long things can take is, is, is an interesting thing because when mm. you think about trophies, sometimes s- simple sentences can be, well, that, that sounds easy, but then it takes 20 hours to do. So I think it's, it's quite an interesting thing for... People looking for little quick challenges, dip in, dip out. I, my worry is that a lot of what I saw on the UI they showed. So they showed that off. They also showed off the function that you can literally click a button and it will, it can, not will, 
but it can by again PlayStation Plus link you to a video that shows you how to do that card. Like if it's like find this thing, it would just the video will show you how to do that. And I I I think in terms of accessibility, cool. You're not wasting each other, but also imagine if that was a feature in Breath of the Wild. I think it would take away <laughs> from that game. Yeah, I, I, I mean, look, but it is, but it is a feature in what is it again? Mar- I keep mentioning that game, Super Mario Wii U Deluxe, whatever it is, the yeah. Luigi Run thing, and and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you know, do you want the? You know, sometimes to the point where it goes, "You're doing a bit crap. Do you want <laughs> Luigi to show you how to do this bit?" No, I just fell down a hole by mistake. Back off, Nintendo. You know, but I'm, how I'm granular do you want to get? Like, you know, and to, to course, the point where, yeah, like, this is, this comes, is hey, this you... is your card, so this is the achievement, which is complete the level. Do that. We'll tell you how long it will take you, and hey, we'll show you how to do it. It's like, I, I don't think... You kind of get to the point where, where's, where's the point? Well, no, the what point I mean is, there, I, I don't think people like I, you and I will use these. It's nice, because <laughs> this is one thing I was quite surprised about, because I haven't seen anyone mention this. The thing they showed is that um, you can put this video picture in picture on the screen or you can snap it to the side of the game it's like yeah didn't people hate snap isn't that why xbox ditched it last gen like a year in that's it uh, you can there's there's some cool party stuff um so if we're in a party uh i can literally hit a button and share my videos with you so, and not i don't mean like a clip i've made like you can then have my gameplay of like they showed uncharted while mm. they were playing sack boy and in the corner there's just you're you're playing uncharted and i can see you again picture in picture and i think that's a really cool thing that they're, they're making well they're making it on what like discord yeah you know i don't know it was nice to yeah, see well, that, it was nice to see the ps5 ui yeah. it does look sleek they you know what they've designed looks yeah. like they've gone for an i my my biggest concern is that what they showed I thought, yes, that looks cool now, but in five years' time, that could be horrendously cluttered. But we, pff, let's get let's get the bloody thing out in our hands first before we. Yeah, uh, let's get yeah. to some listening correspondence. Yes, absolutely. Um, Thomas says, uh, "Chris, it's an episode of Geek Street, and you have to establish a new daily newspaper with a brief to cheer everyone up." Good luck. He doesn't say that. That's me. What do you fill those column inches with? Um. Mick Fraser. That would be the centerfold, Probably. yeah. That you angel in the centerfold. I'd like, I'd like to think that it'd definitely be a centerfold with him in various states of undress. I would assume. Uh huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe with um, conveniently placed controllers and uh, other things. But um, I mean, that would fill column inches. It would um, fill inches. It would fill inches. About it would probably cheer everyone up as well. I, I feel like I'd probably fit the, hit the brief there. I'd be cheering people up and be filling column inches. Um, yeah. Yeah? I yeah, think that's no, a starting point. Would shit, you, how would you, you build on that? I, brief to cheer everyone up. I mean, just pictures of like people sticking middle fingers up at politicians. Is that too political for a gaming podcast? I I know I don't. You haven't mentioned which ones. I think it's fine. Oh, all of them. Um, all. <laughs> just, yeah, we, yeah we, we don't show any 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 party favoritism. No, we will, we will we will we will we will do that. But but uh, I think what so varying levels of aggression. So like you know I I I vote red. You know what I mean. So we'll maybe we'll we'll give yeah. them a l- less of a hard time. But the, yeah. The, Again, getting too political, but the blue ones like they get, you know, they really get. I, I, it's too political. <laughs> Games aren't political, Chris. So let's move on. No, no, um, what, what word or phrase sets your teeth on edge? A colleague of mine cannot abide the word jobby, which to me is quite unpatriotic. And this is obviously from Thomas, who is Scottish. So yeah, yeah like not liking the word jobby is uh, y- yikes, you know. So, <laughs> do you want to admit this? Because I. I mean, I'll just say it, and then I'll explain. Like, I hate the word "gash" in the term of it being a cut before anyone else bloody oh, said anything. Uh, being a, like, a a what? A c- <laughs> being a graze or cut? Yeah, I mean, you could have um, said 
any different word. Laceration. Like, yeah, I should have gone for yeah. You're better at this than me. Um, I just it makes me cringe. I don't particularly like gusset. Maybe it's all the G's, um, but I, I just this that word moist is another one. I, I, was, I assumed someone would have said moist. Yeah, that's an obvious one, but I think it makes mm. everyone just go clammy as well. Clammy or clam go and... related to gash. Um, <laughs> I think you're 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 doing what you normally do and working me into a corner again, where I'm trying to be innocent and you're trying to drag me down. That's what you do. Um, yeah, how about you? Any any words that I, kind of I adore the language. That that's one thing we do well is that there are so many synonyms for so like you know you said gash and 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 clam or i might have said clam um but i throw in flaps you know i mean there's so many and not just female parts like the amount of words you can use to just describe a penis for example um i think when someone says like the penis it makes me sort of go oh that's horrible (laughs) can't you can't you call it a cock or a you know, even a member, you know, um, uh, penis, I, I you like, know, it's, I, I like, I like, um, I kind of, I think thinking about that, like, like the words or descriptions you can use to kind of be offensive to people in the sense of like, 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 like cock wumble or something. Terrific, There's so yeah. many different these ways you can literally combine different words to just be really offensive. And, and I just love that. Like finding new ways I just, of I just expressing don't have a word. I don't think that makes me go, you know, like I say, I really think that there's so many words. Use them, you know, like I, I, I mean, you know, for example, I do like the fact that, again, penis, people can call their Johnson. Um, and I, I move that from here on, we call it the Boris. Um, yeah, no, I don't, no, I know. I do think that's Sorry, brilliant. we're not, this it's not a political podcast. We should no. move on. Um, no, as, as the switch enters middle age, Chris. What do you yes. predict for next year, uh, Thomas? Is this is one him? Uh, this is last week one we didn't get to. I'm expecting yeah. its peak year, a pro model and shed load of Zelda goodness. And how about yeah, you? Yeah, so so yeah, so obviously with the 35th year of Mario this year, yes, um, you kind of instantly go to, don't you? What's the 35th year of Zelda, which is which is next year? The the fanboy in me also says it's also the 35th year of Metroid Nintendo. If you want to think about that for someone like me who's still waiting for Metroid Prime 4 or the Metroid Prime Trilogy to come on Switch. So, I mean, if I'm going to set... Well, what I predict, there will be loads of Zelda stuff in the same way there was for Mario. They will they will do that. Whether that will end up landing with Breath of the Wild 2 at the end of the year, don't know. But I think we'll definitely get some sort of um, re-release. You're going to get, of... get the HD re-ups again, I would have thought. We'll get the HD re-ups. I would think um, a collection, possibly. So, uh, there'll be some sort of collection. Whether yeah. they'll... I'd love, I'd love like a like like a 2D collection but i guess they've kind of done links awakening remaster so maybe they won't but then do no. they do a do they do i guess a a majora's mask ocarina of time collection or something you know, like that i was that. thinking more um um i've spaced on the name what was the Wii one with the motion controls the one that took skyward ages sword. To, yeah skyward sword i was Go, thinking skyward yeah. sword wind waker think, and you know that sort of twilight, twilight princess yes i mean probably. A, a, yes, a, of course. i think of, of three they're the one i mean the thing is the thing is with zelda there have been re-releases of um twilight uh sorry uh wind waker and i want to say twilight princess already like they've been remasters of them i think well, wind waker got a hd wind, remaster on wind waker was on the wii u yeah but that's why um, i think that will because that's kind of the only game that hasn't at this point come to switch yeah. i think yeah I, i'd love that on switch that was such a good remaster that game um mm, beautiful game yeah so yeah, loved yeah, good quality music as well. I love that game. Um, yeah, so I think there's going to be tons of Zelda stuff next year. I think I'm going to be disappointed if I had to say what I think will happen. Metroid won't come um, next unless year. They, I think it will unless unless they land. Um, they might they might do the trilogy next year and prime the year after yeah. and wing it that, and wing it that the American release was actually 34 years ago next year, so they do it the year after. Um, mm. But I mean. If that, if, but I, they might do that. But like, I also think it gets a bit messy if you go. This is the 35th year anniversary of these four franchises. Maybe they will just try and pace it. Um, but I kind of feel like the big one will be Breath of the World two by the end of the year. What about the Pro model of the Switch Pro or, or, or so Switch? The pro, so yeah, because go back to Pro. Whatever. I I think I think we'll have heard something next year. Whether it will be out, I don't know. But I think we'll have heard something next year. I think Nintendo probably will have intended to definitely launch it next year. But whether they're behind with the 
everything that's happened this year. I don't yeah. know. But I think if we don't hear about it next year, it's never coming. And I think it is coming. Uh, oh, so yeah, it's coming. Yeah. So, so I think it's, I think we'll definitely hear about that next year, whether it will creep back into the ne- into the year after next. I don't know, but we'll definitely hear about that next year is what I think. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, agree. I think we will get Metroid next year. Um, I think there'll be. A you think Metro Prime Four is coming? Yeah, yeah, year. I think so. Yeah, I think oh, okay, so. cool. Um, I, I mean, mate, if they don't, what they're gonna Breath of the Wild Two next year? But they can't just have one game. You know, even even this year's shown that they went to start with Animal Crossing, but they have other games. Um, yeah, I don't know the Switch Pro. I they 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 like a sort of. I think they they like a winter release, so I feel like if it's February or something, it would be February twenty twenty two. Um, mm. but like you say, they would probably announce it next year. Yeah, it's coming. I think so. Definitely. Um, G Town Stephen Peter Carl Chambers, who keeps changing his fucking name on Discord, and, and it's getting longer. It's as well, getting longer, and 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 I think that's deliberate. That's, but thank <laughs> you, Steve, for your your Patreon support. Um, I think he's just going to see how many you'll read out. Like if he keeps okay, getting longer, mate, you keep reading out. I am a consummate professional, and I will always read them out. Indeed. Um, with this generation of gaming drawing to a close, Steve says. What have been the standout moments for you? What have been the biggest disappointments, unexpected surprises, and what will define this generation for you when you look back in five years' time? Now, and I'm going to point with this beer bottle, now. I can't think right now of, and it might just be the state of mind I'm in, I can't think of like any enormous disappointments. There definitely have been, but I can't, I can't pull them. The standout moments... I think the standout moment for me is God of War. That's the one that straight away, straight away comes to mind. Um, yeah. I think that game's fantastic, and I still believe that game set a new bar for gaming. It is, I think about it now, and I'm thinking, I might play that again if they do sort of make it 4K 60. I mean, that would be a, that would be a test. If, if the PS5 can run that game at 4K 60, that, that machine's a beast, because... Yeah, I mean, unexpected surprises though. Again, I think God of War again because I would have ex- wouldn't have expected that game to come back and me to have an emotional connection to Kratos. I think with what had happened before, I yeah. think you didn't expect it to land where it did, the way it did. Yes, the I quality that it. Did. it. You know, I, I did everything. Yeah. I got a platinum trophy. Yeah. It's it's yeah. I th- I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with like biggest disappointments. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I could probably, if you can think of some highlights, I could probably go back yeah, and I look mean, at I, our I biggest think... disappointment awards. Oh, yeah, I, I yeah. should have some of them. Um, so I will yeah, have to, again, apologies. I will have to look off screen. Um, no, I, th- I think the one that comes straight to my mind, uh, Breath of the Wild, I, I, I mean, in, in terms of the things, God of War for me as well. Like, I, I, I love that game. I, I'm completely on board with what you're saying. I think Breath of the Wild was incredible for like the scope and the the kind of the way it made you feel that uh, i think you mentioned this in the game of the year podcast like the, the the clever use of not doing too much you know not being over exuberant with the music and things like that and just letting you feel and be in the moment and mm. feeling expansive and and and, and natural I, I love that uh, and it, it makes me excited for breath of the wild too how they're gonna how they're gonna top it and where they're gonna take the game so that's definitely a uh, a standout moment for me and, and, and that finally getting my hands on that game and the switch i think at the same time you know getting my hands on the switch and it and it, uh, breath of the wild at the same time i think was, was a particular highlight i mean yeah i mean if we're going going back it's like there's other things like the witcher 3 and things like that that, that, that fall into this and everything and it's just there's there's so many um which, uh, think yeah, when we, yeah. When we go, when we actually look back and go, blimey, yeah, and that, and that. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking know. at the biggest disappointments list. I can't find them all. Um, there's been some strange awards over the years, Chris. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so if we go back to, um, I think this is 2014. Biggest disappointment that year was Watch Dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I bounced off it, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not averse to that. The Walking Dead season two and Destiny were the top three there. Um, 2015. I've got like this is the working file up before before we actually whittled them down. Um, <laughs> outrage culture that was in 2015. 
20... <laughs> make, a, make a return every year. Yeah. Broken Games. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Um, oh, yeah. The Order 1886, which I quite liked. Um, that was 2015. I, I'm not sure which one this is. There's a short list here. My God, there was a lot of disappointments that year. Ukulele was in there. Mass, Affl- Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, mm. I, I don't agree with a lot of these, but then I guess that's what we had the debate. Law Lawbre- Lawbreakers was in there. Microtransactions. Loads of development mm. studio closures. Uh, yeah, that one did not, I think, in the end of that year. That was might have been. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. This is 2018's list, I think. Telltale mm. Games, because I think that was the year they shot. Yeah. Um, everything to do with Fallout 76, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Pez 2019, <laughs> On Rush's basically demise. Um, oh, last yeah. year, there's maybe it wasn't so much of a disappointing year because we had Anthem in there, Far Cry New Dawn, Trials Rising. I remember arguing for Days Gone, which let's be honest is is a fine game now. Um, there've been disappointments, but there's you know over the years, I guess. Uh, I I will. What would define this generation for you? I I genuinely feel like. Sony coming from a position of being behind to end up ahead with incredible first party output. Because let's be honest, the party system, the online of the PlayStation 4 is not exactly amazing. It just is functional. The Xbox is still yeah. best for all that stuff. But the launch of the Xbox, I mean, that's one thing, one thing that will definitely be remembered. Um, I mean, the difference between the start of this gen and the start of the new gen, the start of last gen, do you remember it? Hashtag deal with it. Don mm. Matrick, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Like, fuck oh. me. That and, yeah. and the and the craziest shit about all of that that I will always remember is the stuff that everyone had a go at them for. The idea of family sharing, of game sharing is something that almost everyone does with their mates now. Yeah, like it's yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. But it was just that guy was so bad at messaging that all the things he suggested, if you go back now, like in some ways, Sony are doing it. Like, you know, the idea of, yeah, and I, hey, if you like these games, we've got a console for you. It's the Xbox 360. You know I, this I, I, of, yeah. I almost said it earlier when you were talking about it. I was like, it almost sounds like the reverse of what we had at the start of the, the, the last generation and that Microsoft got panned for. But yeah, um, yeah maybe they were ahead of their time. I think a lot of it was messaging, like, like you said. It, yeah, like deal, um, hashtag deal with it. Like, man. Yeah. Like, can you imagine I mean, Big I, Phil doing that? He's not doing that. No, that guy wants to take no. you for a pint. And I'm available, yeah. Phil. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, I mean, I, I, I am glad as well that Nintendo's back because you really did feel... I just thought, oh my God, the Wii But you. do you think... See, the thing is, man, I don't. I think of them as a separate thing now. I do, I do. I don't think we can, I, can I, call I, them I, like I, part of the generation. I feel like they are they're, they're this side thing that they're over no, there doing their own are. thing. They are, but it's... Yeah, but I'm not saying that they're competing directly with someone like like sony i'm not saying that i'm saying mm. that it's a better generation when all three of them are on point and they yes. are delivering and they are at the moment and that is good because we all win um and quite frankly mm. when they're not trying to flog us a gimmick they do best and this is the the switch is functionality not gimmick and that that tell that that's I, telling see, see i think that's what this generation will be remembered for, for the start of it was horrendous in that respect of not doing what we wanted whereas the end of it to me is xbox are actually following nintendo now and saying we get it you don't give a shit about tv you don't give a shit about apps you want games and i personally think that's what series x is going to deliver on i think they might take a little while but the studios they've bought the position they're in now they are in a position to say we do get we believe in games and time will tell on that whereas last gen i feel like they just didn't do enough until it was kind of too late and they had to hit the reset button, you know? Yeah, they almost panicked, but that panic gave us Game Pass. And in, and, and there is a piece there where, you know, when I think about the things when I'm looking across the industry about what will I remember, I, I highlight the things we should talk about, Game Pass, and that going into this yeah, Game Pass, next yeah. new generation, I think will be really exciting. And so. I'll also say that something that stands out, I remember, is Bloodborne. Of course, yeah. But Chris, I have finished my beer, which means it is time for the end of this podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, which admittedly was a bit of a lower key, more down, sort of more chilled, not so much laughs this week, we can't bring the laughs everywhere. Intimate, I'd call it. Intimate. Intimate, sexual podcast this week. 
But if you like that sort of thing, you can go to our only fa- no patreon.com slash God is a geek, um, where you can find this podcast early. You can find an exclusive podcast twice a month. I believe we do it now for cough, a food rating one. We try to do giveaways. There's a private discord. You can follow us on YouTube. F- subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, if you're not watching this, this might not be the best week to watch when, since I'm pretty much aware, and this doesn't work for the listeners, only the viewers, that Chris has been out of sync almost the entire episode. Um, so Sorry. Re- rewind it, watch it, and just watch it again, but only look at me. <laughs> um, Thanks. It, it happens. It, like I say, it's just been one of those this week where we wanted to get you a pod. We had a couple of games to talk about. We'll be back in full force next week. So don't, if you are a new listener, don't judge us. I don't judge us at all, but that's not the in- that's not the way the internet works. Do judge us, but not on this episode. This is a bit of a technical difficulties one, and it, it you know we've got your pod. We don't let you down. Unlike um, no, I've done that joke to death. This isn't a political podcast. Moving on to the end, Chris. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate it, mate. No worries, um, mate. Happy and for, to be here again. for everybody else, we will see you next week or whenever you choose to listen. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.